Cold Arm for Moon Mission, Robotic Fleet for Mars Civilization, and Digital Twin Technology. All this and more in this episode of Exploration into Technology. Welcome to Exploration into Technology. This week in engineering, NASA's 2021 goals include the launch of Artemis 1, an uncrewed mission to the moon. The mission is a test of the Orion spacecraft and its ability to get humans back to the moon by 2024. A robotic arm developed by Motive Space Systems is capable of operating under the extreme cold conditions of the moon and will give a boost to NASA as it prepares its lunar exploration plans. The cold arm, short for Cold Operable Lunar Deployable Arm, is part of the Commercial Lunar Payload Services. That's a NASA program to send small robotic landers and rovers to the moon as test flights. The moon's south pole, where these test rovers land, presents notoriously difficult conditions, including extreme cold and dark. The arm is an important milestone not just because of its ability to operate under cryogenic conditions, but because it can do so without heater power. The cold arm eliminates this specific need for power because the joint drives don't need a wet lubricant. Although Perseverance was set off on a mission to study when life could have existed on Mars, many humans are watching and wondering whether life could exist there once again. If we think about the red planet as a future habitat, we might imagine complex underground dwellings and processing systems for essentials like air, water, and fuel. The radiation and exposure to the elements on the surface of Mars would make it incredibly unsafe for humans to complete such a project. Offworld, a technology company based in California, anticipates that developing this infrastructure will take millions of robots working in harmony, and they are already building a fleet with the hope that their technology will be used on future missions. Offworld has created an end-to-end -end system in which these bots are functioning in entirely self-sustaining colonies underground. Though a Martian civilization remains a distant dream, Offworld hopes that the scalability of their robotic workforce will one day serve as a key component of our survival on Mars. Due to current events, digital transformation has accelerated at light speed, underscoring how adoption is essential for organizations to remain competitive and responsive to dynamic global markets. Today, industry leaders are using digital twins to gain unprecedented insights into products, services, and operations. With an ever-increasing number of digital twin solutions available, finding and implementing the right solutions can be difficult. ASME recognizes the importance of providing organizations with the knowledge to strategically identify and implement predictive capabilities. On May 12th and 13th, ASME will hold its Digital Twins Summit, a cross-industry virtual event designed to provide the critical insights needed to build intelligent, predictive, analytics-driven operations that function with the speed and resilience required by today's market conditions. For more information or to register, visit event.asme.org slash digital twin. To help improve the efficacy and streamline costs throughout the pre-market and post-market stages of a product's life cycle, manufacturers are shifting away from physical testing toward computational modeling techniques and performance simulation. As a result, engineers, scientists, and program developers are now often tasked with developing and analyzing computational models and simulations when designing or improving a product or a system. Discover a new standardized approach for verification and validation of computational modeling for medical devices. ASME VMV40 is the first verification and validation standard for specific application to medical devices. It provides a framework for assessing the relevance and adequacy of completed VMV activities that establish credibility of a computational model. ASME VMV40 also offers users guidelines for assessing and quantifying the accuracy and credibility of computational models and simulations. ASME plays an important role in the VVUQ community by developing VVUQ standards, offering a yearly symposium, challenge problems to the community, and publishing the journal of VVUQ. For more information on these standards, visit asme.org. 
That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Now, please remember to click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.